take in approximately one third of construction and demolition to two thirds municipal solid waste for approximately 350 ton a, a day. Uh, 162 acres total volume that we have here. Come Packers running probably close to nine and a half or 10 hours a day. When I started looking at, at the Boval, it was exactly what I wanted. For us, it, it was a really good fit because of the, the way that the machine was configured. Um, I really liked the, the wheels on it, the, the way that the cleats were built and the way that they're put on the, on the wheel. The other thing I liked was this straight flat blade. And for us, everything that we do, we don't want to do rework. So we're building our next level. That's where trucks are going to drive on. So we want to get it as level and as flat as we can. This compactor is 90,000 pounds. It's kind of a medium-sized compactor for the different compactors that are on the, on the market. When it comes to com compaction uh, with a landfill compactor, it it's, comes down to the, the weight of the machine and the, the size of the wheels and also the, the cleat configuration of the wheels. With the help of, of Terra Compactor Wheel, we've developed these wheels. They have a, a thicker wrapper than a lot of the competition, and they really have extra welded on hard facing, both on the wheels, on the, on the, on the tips of the wheels, and also on the um, drums of the wheels, on the edges. Of course, it has a, a Volvo engine in it, so you get that, that good fuel economy. We're seeing anywhere from 15 to 30% uh, less fuel consumption than our, than our competitors. A couple of my favorite things about the machine are the blade. I like how the trash just falls right off of that. And then the cab is really comfortable. It's the seat's got a lot of adjustments and heated, cooled seats is pretty nice. It's the premium seat for Volvo. And it has all the extra options like heated, cooled seats. It's also got the, the air suspension, auto adjusting. So it really keeps the operator comfortable. And that's important because he's in there eight to 10 hours a day. And you want to make sure that he's not getting operator fatigue and you know he doesn't want to walk out of there you know with sore shoulders but the cabin has a, a, a powered pre-filter that helps to to dispel any of the large particles of dust and debris that might be coming in it really keeps the, the cabin clean i don't smell anything through the filtration systems well, in this case here um, we were able to use a, a source well cooperative purchasing contract with those contracts, it's a competitively solicited contract and they're able to use this. Uh, it helps expedite the purchasing process. We were able to quote and sell a five-year, 7,500-hour uh, support agreement. Uh, what goes along with that, it, it helps uh, customers select a certain level of maintenance that they would like. Uh, the customer will receive preventive maintenance and inspections. Tito and, and uh, Sierra, they've been fantastic. Uh, they were excellent when they're there the same day, if not the first thing in the morning. I love it, it's, it's a nice machine.